Hey guys and girls and welcome to another pickups video. Uh, I've got quite a few items today so hopefully I can squeeze this all into 11 minutes. we we'll see how it goes eh? First thing i got is this little doohickey, there we go. Game Boy Advance Wireless Adapter. Which I found on Amazon and looks pretty funky. Let's see what we got here. Do -do -do -do. Unleash your Game Boy Advance and go wireless. Blah, blah. Plug in the Game Boy Advance wireless adapter. Discover the fun of cordless gaming. Da -da -da -da. This exclusive accessory allows you to link up with four phones within three meters. Meters? Hang on. They used the wrong variant of meter there. That needs to be M E T R E. You can't have that variant of meter because that's referring to like a parking meter or electricity or gas meter or something like that. Not 100 centimeters. Anyway, yeah, I won't uh, go on about that. <laughs> and I've got some more PS2 games here. First one is Endgame, which from the look of it is a light gun game compatible with a gun con. So it looks pretty cool. I think I need to zoom out a little bit more there. Yep, there we go. It looks pretty funky. Game are having um, a sale at the moment where they're trying to get rid of certain games for 99p, and most of them are just sports titles that nobody wants anymore. But there are a few, um, few hidden gems there like that and the Getaway. I often wondered what it'd be like to play this game, and now that I've got it for 99p, I can find out because pretty much mainly the idea of driving around London appeals to me as much as it does driving around Liberty City in Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Another game for 99p that I got was Zone of the Enders with exclusive playable demo of Metal Gear 2. Now from the look of it I'm assuming that the demo is on the same disc as the main game and I bet I know why. When this first came out in Japan the uh, demo came on a separate disc and I remember going down to Computer Exchange in London uh, shortly after it was released and <laughs> there were no copies of it uh, brand new at the time but when I went back uh, a couple of weeks later I found that there was many pre-owned copies of Zone of the Enders that people brought back but none of them had the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo disc <laughs> <laughs> the cheeky bastards only bought Zone of the Enders for the demo. Once they'd finished with it, they bought the uh, game back. So that's probably why the demo is on the disc. That's why I'm assuming anyway. <clears throat> and last game, which I've actually bought brand new, is Forbidden Siren 2. It only cost me 6 99 so it's not too bad. Nicely sealed and everything. I remember playing a demo of this on official PlayStation magazine. And it seemed alright. I never got around to buying it, though. <clears throat> so yeah, those are my four... PlayStation 2 games and my Game Boy Advance wireless adapter. However, those five things are mere trifle compared to this thing, which I got in the post this morning. What could it be, I wonder? Well, let's find out. Be very careful with it. Ooh, bubble wrap. Ooh, looking good. So that's a lot of spoiler anything, so I'm trying not to cut. I'm trying not to show you the inside of it just yet. It's quite hard doing this with one hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down like so. And just cut along here like that. There we go, that's more like it. Turn around the other way. Ooh, it looks promising. Ooh, what could it be? You probably figured out roughly what it is already. But do you know exactly what it is, though? Oh, hang on, guys, so we're gonna put the camera down again. Ah, 
Uh, okay, guys, you can open your eyes now. Do -do -do -do. It is an Asian Mega Drive. Yay! It comes with one controller, which has a blue start button. And red face buttons. I think the ones on ours were white. Mm. Sonic the Hedgehog, Japanese version, which I already have a copy of, which you guys should know. And no instruction manual, but I knew that anyway. <laughs> Sega Genesis instru Oh, there it is, yeah. Sega Genesis instruction manual. This isn't a Genesis. Okay, fair enough, the machine's roughly the same, but still. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. Uh, uh, custom, uh, customer notes. Ooh, it looks pretty. Hello. <laughs> Let's have a look inside the box. It's in pretty good condition. It's not the in the best conditions, but it's all right. Still got the old polystyrene inside, which is quite impressive for <laughs> boxes of this age. <laughs> this is really hard to do with one hand. You know, move into the light. Ah, there we go. Yay! Wire's getting caught. Oh, look, we've got another controller in there. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Th An official three, three pin control, uh, controller. What am I talking about? Three pin plug. Yeah. A uh, cable. And the machine itself. Very poor light. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, the wire's actually connected to the machine. Actually fully attached to it. There we go. It's got an external port, AV out, adapter. Yeah, wow, that's the Asian Mega Drive. That's pretty nifty. Ooh, I might fire this up in a bit. Ooh. Oh, I wish my other Mega Drive was around nearby. <laughs> Can compare it to that. Anyway, yep, those are my pickups, guys. I'll see you next time.